Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Cheap Crypto Miner. Today, the, uh, the new blockchain monitor, the Chia block, blockchain monitor has been released. It is not a finished product, but it looks pretty good. It doesn't monitor your own form, not yet. Uh, apparently uses less resources than a previous product. Uh, you can, and I will leave the link for it below so that you can be able to go and take a look at it. It has a lot of good information. I'm going to share this with you now. So here's the uh, blockchain summary. And you have three options when you go into the dashboard. You can look at the blockchain state, the mempool, the transactions and fees, and the peer info. I believe the peer info is probably the, um, it's, it's limited to uh, overall. In fact, all these searches are limited to the entire picture of Chia today. Blockchain state is actually quite interesting. It shows um, all the, you know, the information that will be of interest to most people. Uh, it shows a next space if it's going up or down. It looks like the 61 PIB is uh, down from the previous time it was measured, which I believe uh, was this 24 hours, but don't don't take me don't take my information for that. And it has quite an interesting, um, uh, plot. You know, like I, I found the plus size to be interesting. 97, almost 98 percent is 32. Very very little of the larger plots, which is no it's not surprising. It's just that I thought it would be higher the larger plots, especially being that most pools that are very large will probably plot larger, and I, I thought will plot larger ones to um, fill the hard drives faster, but I guess I was wrong. Nevertheless, um, in the dashboard, you also have the uh, transaction fees, a mempool, uh, pretty interesting information. When you go over the line, it gives you that moment's picture. Um, and again, inf in interesting from, uh, information, not something that I look at every day, but it's interesting. And finally, the under the, the the dashboard you have the peer information which was i found it interesting where the chia networks are based on the what i call the bubble uh graph which you can see here and it shows you that um where the information where the um the the the, the farms are and asia china having almost forty three thousand individual ip addresses um or I guess they, I'm not even sure where they're using, if it's IP or no, they're probably using nodes. That's probably what they're using. And I see they broke it down in between IPv4 and IPv6. Uh, in the US, it looks like 2300, almost 24,000 uh, nodes. And uh, interesting enough, based on the bubble, uh, California and the east of the countries where most, the east and center is where most of them are. But um, it's 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 getting better. It's still not finished. It won't allow you to use the same type of references data from your own network. I don't believe that they uh, uh, have nowhere near that. But anyway, I thought it was unique. The other thing I want to talk about is Chives. I want to talk about the Chives network. I know I promised you um, that I was going to look at uh, all the different forks for Chia, and I'm going to start with Chives. And the first thing I want to do, so they also, they also announced the uh, L Bank pool, uh, L Bank Exchange, where you can buy different tokens through USDT and be able to stake your uh, chives. I actually went into it, and after a lot of looking around and doing a little bit of chat, that uh, was sort of helpful, but not really. Um, apparently, you need to um, uh, you need to be able to open up an account. Once you open up the account, it asks you that you um, that you uh, do a KYC. So I was been looking around for the page, and I found it here. The uh, L Bank launches um, the staking with ten percent annualized yield on on chives uh two problems one unless you have ten thousand or more um that's the minimum to stake i believe that the maximum is fifty thousand and they will limit a total of 20 million xchs uh, i'm sorry uh, chives xcc um as 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 part to participate in this in this uh 
uh, staking. So the first thing I did was I've you know, read as much as I could on the website. You're supposed to click on the demand deposit to participate. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to a different page that um, it, 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 you basically choose what is it you're trying to do. So you click on the flexible. You also can click on the lock, but the flexible is a better option because you can move your uh, chives in and out. Um, right now, if you will have to, if you don't have enough uh, chives for that, you have to buy. And down here, you see what they're paying um, for for you to be staking your chives. So if you click on the join now, um, it takes you to a different pa page that you need to log in and register, create an account. Uh, I did, and uh, and I'll let me log in and I'll come right back. Okay, as you can see, you can mint NFTs, you can trade them, you can buy chives in the um, in the exchange uh, place that they have, the chive ex exchange. They call it chive swap. That's it, chive swap. And I believe I have the window open, so this is your chive swap. You can go into the NFT market, and you can. Uh, I believe you can mint your own. You can buy one of these. This is the ad that keeps showing everywhere where I go, to letting you know that there's a new listing coming for chives very soon. Um, and I don't know because I don't believe they actually tell you which exchange it is. They're keeping that secret for now. But any, anyway, that's coming up. Uh, for all of these reasons, I believe that chives is definitely a worth mining. Um, so at this point, what I would do is if you already started, keep going. If you haven't, go ahead and start. But I do highly recommend that you do it on a separate computer. Don't use the same um, drives where you have Chia. I don't believe it's safe. Um, I just read enough stories that, you know, that's how I feel. And that's my recommendation. Again, this is not. Uh, investment advice it's just a guy with a hobby but when it comes to being you know if you ch mine uh, if you farm if you farm chia and you have 10 20 30 whatever you don't want to put it at risk uh, and also I'm going to be doing very soon uh, a video on cold wallet I know it's been done before but I'm gonna go very specific from before you create a cold wallet, what your security um, assignment should be so that you can cover yourself entirely. Because I've been at Reddit and I read some horror stories of people um, doing the cold wallets the wrong way, uh, losing their um, seeds, you name it. It's people, you know, people are people. We make mistakes. So anyway, um, so this is the, the, going back to the, to the uh, Chai's page, um, um, you see that you can uh, browse, mint, and trade NFTs in the Chai's blockchain. I haven't done any. I do know some people who has. Um, I don't know if it's going to go up in value in the future. I, I really don't know. I just, you know, it, NFTs are definitely a weakness for me. I don't really truly follow it my son on the other hand has several of them that he's very excited about and apparently they have gone up in value how he determines that i don't know but um minting an mt is going to cost anywhere from five to ten x uh, cc's and which is not expensive i mean it's something to try maybe i'll give it a try but nevertheless this is where we at so hopefully this has uh, cleared some of the things for you concerning the l bank i did um, go in the L bank and I finally got all of my USDTs swapped over to chives. I did put uh, 12,000 chives in, on, um, on um, <clears throat> staking. I'm staking them. I'm just going to do it for a little while and just see. Apparently, I'll get maybe three chives every day for it. Um, it's not necessarily a profit thing. It's more of a learning thing because there will be other opportunities for better paying, um, uh, you know, staking. I mean, I have staking already on uh, Ethereum 2.0. So hopefully that'll, that'll happen sometime soon because I have that money frozen now for about a year. And... Um, and, and other staking. So staking, a lot of people avoid it because they are afraid of the tax 
implications. If you have a good accountant, it shouldn't be that difficult. I don't believe. I mean, my accountant told me what he needed. I got it to him and he's working on it now. So I'm not really all that concerned. But again, you have to deal with your own finances. So you have to make a decision yourself. So to recap um, of the 20 or so Chia forks that you can ma uh, a farm and and hopefully m you know make it uh, maybe that coin will jump in value significantly uh is is the one that i approve at this point it's chives i'll be going over the other ones and giving you the positive and negative on the chives i really haven't found much negative other than you can either pull solo or pull or i'm sorry uh har har you know have your coins either in a pool or go solo Solo, obviously, you get more when you hit a block. Um, I believe it's 2,200 coins. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, I, 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 I haven't hit a block that I can't think of. I know that I've been on a, on a pool, and that's all I got, about 1,300 in about two months, I want to say, it's been on, roughly. Um, so it's not that, you know, it's, I don't have that much in it. Uh, um, in value, I definitely don't have nowhere near what I have in my chia, but nevertheless... Excuse me. Um, um, I'm going to continue mining it. I'm going to try and pull for maybe six months, six months of solo, and see what my luck is. And um, and just call, just keep accumulating. That's all. I So I give my, th my thumbs up on Chive. So go ahead. If you're not doing it, give it a try. It's a very easy installation, very easy to uh, do. Um, the only challenge I had in the beginning was that I was, I, I had my external hard drives, um, which is what I'm using in the, in the, on the computer I wasn't really using, um, uh, which is a AMD seven. Uh, and I had the drives on a different computer. So I plot them in a different computer with K29 that didn't take long at all. And then I was trying to do harvester to the farmer. And uh, I had a little difficulty um, being able to do that, like the way you do it with Chia, which is setting up as harvester and pointing it to your farmer. But luckily, I found and read the instructions. I will share that with you. I'll leave it in the in the um, in the comment section. And uh, which reminds me, if you have any comments, good, bad, or indifferent, please leave them below. I really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, that will really help me out. And who knows, you might just learn something. And I got a couple topics that I am uh, working on, and I will continue to talk about the different uh, ch uh, Chia uh, forks. I decided to talk them, about them individually as I um, pay, you know, look at all the plus or minuses of each one and give you my opinion if it's something worth mining or not. Um, so, so that's it for now. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please leave in comments. If you like the video, please click on like. That really does help. And again, subscribe. Give it a try. What you got to lose. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.